It doesn't go in isolation, and let me tell you why. When we look tomorrow, what we're going to do is post all of the goals. We're going to post all of the goals, and what we're going to find is hopefully, and I'm che I'm, I'm, um, I haven't seen it. I didn't go to the carousel, but what we're looking at is where we're going to see those goals fall under a bucket. Let's hypothetically say right now it says increase college readiness, increase college readiness, increase college readiness, and there's somewhere in there. Uh, uh, define so college readiness. Okay, right. right. So there's a common thread. Tomorrow we're going to talk about the goals that have the common thread. If there's a common thread, three out of the four, then that goal is automatically, and I'm saying automatically, is going to be part of the plan. 
listen to what I said, part of the plan. We're not voting on goals today. We're voting on what we call quick improvements through the strategies. Those goals also, do you notice that, and let me show you real quickly, because uh, that's our next activity. Right here where we start talking, you can't see it, but it's in your, it's in your packet. The CCRS, the College Career Readiness Standards, that is our goals. We, we have the goals out there already because there's metrics that are already involved. This one that says here, the 2020 goals and the diploma. These goals are already aligned somewhere. This is not that we're, these goals are already, somebody already predefined the goals. These are just things that we're pulling out. The strategies are the ones that need to be common. The goals are common. Do we agree everybody should be college ready? Yes. Should we agree that all the students should take a test, the college readiness test? That's a goal, according to some of these. Do we all agree on what Pardon? a college ready student looks like? In the state of Texas, college ready is defined as a student that passes the TSI and doesn't have to take developmental courses. That's it. That is not based on the STAR test. Correct. But a STAR test is not college readiness to the point of saying when he goes into a college setting. So we have, a that's why some of them here is de define a common language. Do we agree or disagree that this is how we're going to define college readiness? Today is a kickstart. Today is getting us on the same page. Today we're building trust. Today we're going to introduce each other and try to get that common language and movement. If we agree that we have to vote on goals, that's coming. That's coming. Today is the strategy. That's all we're going to look at, the strategy, as part of the conversation. Jean, you wanted to say something? And the other thing also is that we go around the room right now and I ask you, what is the definition of college ready? You're going to tell me good thinkers, good problem solvers, good communicators. You're going to tell me the good test takers are going to be kids that are motivated, students that are self-advocates. Those are attributes of any student, not only college ready students. In the state of Texas, to, in order for you to take core classes in a college setting, you have to take the college entrance exam, which is called the Texas Success Initiative, without having to take developmental courses. That's just a, a, what we call a drop-down definition. The rest are attributes, whether you're going to college or not, you should be able to speak, you should be able to write, you're supposed to be able to do the problem solving, working in groups, working with groups. You know, that, all of that communication, your soft skills, your manners, your everything else that comes along with it. So I agree with you, the goals need to be there. Today's activity is to vote on the strategies to see right now who's doing what and what is a quick win so that we can get the momentum going. With the understanding that this is a work in progress and we can come back based on your feedback, we took your feedback, and that's part of this conversation that we're having right now. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, we have to start somewhere. We have to start somewhere. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set the clock and we're gonna do this real quick, because remember we've already done the, we're gonna have five minutes for you to go, well, five to seven minutes to go and vote. Conversations around your groups.
get the voting done. Tomorrow we'll kind of break it up. We'll put it up on the slides so that everybody can see it. We'll talk a little bit more about it as a report out tomorrow at the composite. And we'll be able to do that. Again, with the understanding that we're looking for strategies that have potential for impact and, so, and immediate collective collaboration. So here we go for the last activity. I promise you. You said 60 minutes, but I think it is 20, 25. <laughs> All right, so here we go. If you notice, we did, we did kind of a tally of who's in the audience. We found out through the... Through the